What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a really quick how-to video for those of you that are preparing to get rid of your older iPhone. These steps can actually work for iPads as well, but if you are going to be purchasing a new iPhone and you want to either trade this phone in, you want to sell it to somebody else, or you're just a nice person and you're just giving your iPhone away, these are some really easy steps that you can take to make sure that all your personal data will be wiped off of your iPhone before you hand it over to somebody else. So first off, if you happen to be using an Apple Watch with your iPhone, make sure you disconnect or unpair the Apple Watch. So you can do that by going to the Watch app on your phone. Right now my Wi-Fi is turned off, so it gave me the error message. But here we go, and here's the, this is the main menu right here. If you click on All Watches, you'll see your Apple Watch listed right there. Click on the little I button right there, and there it says Unpair Apple Watch. You want to make sure you do that before you hand over the phone to somebody else because it could still be connecting to your watch. So that is how you do that. So if you don't have an Apple Watch, this is the first step you're going to be doing, okay? First, you want to back up your, your, uh, your device. So if you go to Settings, so when you're in Settings, you click on your name, the first option right there, and then you click on iCloud and the options right there. And then you'll see a bunch of different apps and it'll be telling you how much iCloud storage you have and everything. So when you scroll down, there's an option right here for iCloud backup. So if you click on that, it gives you the option to back it up now. So you might want to do that if you want to uh, back up all the, the contacts, the calendars, the pictures, everything that's off of this phone. If you want to have a, just a backup of that, you click on backup now and it will make a backup copy. And uh, Of course, if you already have automatic backups, you can just check out the date and it should tell you um, the last time it was backed up. So let's say it give you the date and time. So if you have automatic backups, you don't have to do this because you can just check to make sure that it backed it up today. If it did, you're good to go. So let's get to the next step then. After that, you want to sign out of iCloud. So let's go back to the settings. This is the main settings menu right here. You want to go to iCloud to go to your main, you click on your name right there and then you scroll to the very bottom and it has the sign out option right there on the bottom. So when you click on that, it will sign you out of iCloud on this phone. And after that, it's really one more step and that is to wipe it clean. So if you go to the, this is the main settings menu, scroll to general right there, scroll to the very bottom, reset. And this is an important piece of it. Make sure you select erase all content and settings. So not just content, but content and settings. When you click on that, it will completely wipe out everything on your phone. Everything will be gone, okay? You basically, once you turn it back on, it will be as if you just got a brand new phone with a welcome screen on it. So if you were selling this to somebody, when you give this to them, they can now set it up as a brand new iPhone for them. And if you want something just for good measure, you could remove the SIM card. So if you have one of these little SIM card removal tools right here or a paperclip, you can, uh, on the side right there, there's a the little button right there to remove the SIM card. You can take the SIM card out, pull it out of there, throw that away. You won't need it anymore because if you have a new iPhone coming in, it will come with a new SIM card. But that is basically all you need to do to get your iPhone ready to go or your iPad to sell or to give away. Keep in mind, the steps I'm showing you here are for iOS 14. So if you're watching this video two years from now, we're probably at iOS 16 or 17 or whatever. So the uh, the locations of these options might be different, but I'm pretty sure these will be the similar steps and options that you want to uh, disconnect and, and utilize in order to reset it. So it may not be in the same exact locations, but you'll just have to find them somewhere if it is a newer version of iOS. So like I said, this is iOS 14. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help you guys out if you're having trouble with making all these things uh, work on your iPhone or iPad. But that's it for me today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.